and joining us. Up how to hit this glitch without having any type of problem now once again guys i'm going to tell you right off the back please make sure that you have matchmaking as close you also need a bunker and an moc and inside the moc you need to have a personal vehicle storage inside your personal vehicle storage you should have a fully customized upgrade lg retro custom you will also need to have the maze bank and you will also need to have a nightclub inside your nightclub it does not matter where you have it at you can have a free allergy or deluxe no you know what i'm gonna say fagio use a fagio inside your nightclub instead garages okay all right guys so once again let's get started let's do this all right so basically uh i'm actually gonna tell you step by step how to do this all right and i'm gonna take my time i'm gonna be honest with you guys um just give it a try all right this glitch is you know, you just got to be patient. That's all. So once again, guys, we're just going to go inside the MOC. Okay. Once we go inside the MOC, you are going to get inside the LG Retro Custom fully upgraded and just drive it out of the MOC. Okay. So that's basically the next step that we are going to do right now. So we're just going to get inside of the vehicle and just drive it out. Now, once I drive it out, guys, you are going to leave it inside your bunker, all right? Inside the bunker, all right? If you follow my step, you will know how to hit it. You're going to leave it right here inside the bunker, all right? Right here. And then what you are going to do, guys, is register as a, you know, CEO, and you are going to request a buzzer, you know? So, yeah. So, guys, I do appreciate you guys. Let's go all out today. Can I get at least three likes? Holy cow. Three likes. Let's go all out, man. I do appreciate that. Can you smack the like down button right about now? Three likes, guy. Come on. I appreciate it. Come on. Come on. You can't be cheap with the like, guys. Come on. Nah, let me stop. Anyway, guys, <laughs> I'm just playing. Uh, definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel and definitely hit the bell notification for more of my videos, okay? So once again, at this moment, we're just going to get inside the buzzer and we are going to go to the mains bank. Okay, mains bank. Now, I'm going to be 100 percent honest, guys. Uh, once we go to the mains bank. Um, you need to have at least one of the missions from the CEO uh, available. I think you should have one. The first one you could use the first one if you want to. All right. But anyway, let's go inside the CEO. All right. That's the next thing that we're going to do. And once we go inside the CEO, what we are going to do next is basically go to the computer. We're just going to go to the computer. The desktop. At your uh, maze bank. OK. And at this moment, guys, once you go over there. You are going to basically open your phone. Okay, make sure you register as a CEO so you can, you know, hit, so you can sit down, you know. So, yeah, so open your phone, go to quick job, okay, and you are going to start any of these jobs. You can start capture, um, you know, I'm going to start capture, right? So, I'm going to start up the capture, quick job like that, and I'm going to hit the right D path. At this point, you're going to basically click X really fast. Click X, keep spamming the X, all right, and you're going to log in. You're going to go to special vehicle work and we're going to start this mission right there, guys. We're going to start the mission and we got to wait at least up to one minute until you see your character kind of stand up and trying to sit right back down. All right. So we're just waiting for the my character to stand up and then trying to sit right back down. OK. And once he does that, just like that, hit the right D pad. You see, he's you know kind of stand up and then sit right back down at this moment. Hit the right D pad to get up the chair. All right. And then we're going to go to the front desk. You're going to click on B. Oh, by the way, uh, host it. OK, or circle. Sorry about that. Click on circle or B. All right. Host it. And then you're going to go to quick job and then you're going to disappear. You're going to turn off your device and then you're going to turn it right back on, which is your control. All right. And then you're going to basically hit the right D pad and request a buzzer okay now that's how that right there was pretty fast okay you're gonna have to do that part fast okay so that's the way i show you all right you gotta be fast right there okay you gotta pace up because there is a timing right here it give you up to at least i think five minutes but dude pace up you gotta do it fast all right now 
we are going to go to the nightclub. Now, if you have the nightclub next to the maze bag, it just literally will make your life much easier to hit this glitch, okay? So, yeah, so there is a timing. You got to do it fast. You got to get out the buzzer, okay? Run really, really fast. Run. Don't stop. Don't stop. Keep running. Keep spamming the X or A. Keep spamming the X or A, all right? And you're going to go to the purple circle right there, and then you're going to go to the garage that you have a Fagio. I'm going to go to my basement level two because I have a Fagio right there. Now, I'm going to run really fast to the Fagio. I'm going to keep spamming X really fast. I'm going to get on the Fagio, and I'm going to press the gas button. Everything will disappear, and you will get kicked out of the, the Fagio, okay? Just like that. There you go. Now, at this moment, guys, all we have to do at this moment is wait for the timeout alert, okay? Timeout alert. So that is the next thing that we are going to do. So we're just going to wait for a few seconds. Okay, guys, just be patient until you get the timeout alert. I'm going to try to skip this part because it did kind of take a little bit long. So just wait for a little bit. Okay. And then once you do get the timeout alert, just click X or A, which is continue. All right. Or okay. Or just going to say, okay, just click X or A. And there you go. And then just wait. You will get kicked automatically out of your, you know, out of your nightclub. So just waiting for me to get kicked. You're just going to get kicked out of the nightclub automatically. All right. And it's going to put you on the default nightclub location. Okay. Which they do that to everybody. So I'm going to show you right now. By the way, you need to do this in a public session. I totally forgot to let you know in the beginning. Do this in a public session. So, yeah. So, once again, guys, at this moment, once you get kicked out of the default nightclub, you're going to request a buzzer. No personal vehicle outside while doing this glitch. All right. So, we're going to request a buzzer and then fly to the bunker. So, once again, at this moment, guys, uh, we are going to go to the bunker. Okay. And once we go to the bunker by foot, um, you will see that, you know, your LG Retro Custom is going to be there. By the way, guys, no custom plate needed there. Uh, needed here. Sorry about that. And you'll be good to go, guys. So no custom plate needed. So once you go inside here, I'm going to show you the plate first. I'm going to pull out the phone and the camera just to show you real quick. Look at this, guys. Just look at this real quick. You see that? It said 304 right i'm gonna show you that once i get inside the vehicle the plate will change boom you change right there okay now once again guys this part right here is really really important do not drive this vehicle inside your moc do not do that instead get out the car and then walk inside the moc by foot all right once you walk inside the moc by foot uh, it might take a little bit long to load up. Just, you know, like I said, patient is the key, Just, you know. And at this moment, once you do spawn inside there, you are going to walk out of the MOC. All right. So, yeah. So right now we're just waiting. There you go. Boom. And then I'm just going to walk out of the MOC. And then once I walk out of the MOC, now you are going to get inside the vehicle. Okay. And then bring it in, in the in back of the MOC. That's really important, guys. Really, really, really important, okay? So, yeah. So, um, this is probably the most important part through the whole entire glitch because people kind of miss this part right here. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, it might take kind of long to you to come out of the MOC just like that. Boom. And then you're going to get inside the vehicle, all right? And then you're going to go inside the MOC, and it's going to say personal vehicle storage full. Uh, you're going to hit the right D-pad, and then you're going to click on X or A, which is OK. And it will take you inside. And now you basically duplicated the car. Now it's going to take you inside, and we are good to go. What? Go win, man. Damn it, this car. <laughs> there you go, guys. I do apologize. That. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> anyway, uh, at this moment, there you go. You saved the car. <laughs> and if you want to do the rinse and repeat... Uh, just take this car and drive it outside and then do it again, guys. That's about it. That's pretty much it. All right. Now, once again, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. Do not forget to hit the like the button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and definitely hit the bell notification. Uh, hopefully you did enjoy this solo car duplication glitch. Um, I know not too many people 
Uh, I think that this is probably the easiest and fastest card duplication glitch, but it's the one that is working on at the moment. It's not my type of glitch, so <laughs> don't come fight with me. <laughs> so anyway, guys, and uh, thank you so much, guys. So I'll see y'all next time. Bye.